Good evening, sports fans! Tonight, we take a huge step towards the latest chapter in the heart of volleyball. I'm Neil Flores. And I'm Zihir Vasho. It's a special episode as we bring you the first ever 2024 PVL Rookie Draft Lottery presented by Starting Lineup. Thoughts, Carlos, finally. A rally going on here. Seth Julia goes cross goal. Cecilia, Dina. Bansic, oh, throws that one. Here comes Gemma. Before we kick off today's live rookie draft lottery, we'd like to acknowledge the presence of PVL Commissioner Sherwin Malonzo, along with the Games and Amusements Board representative, Ms. Eliza Roman. The third, making sure this event is witnessed by the Games and Amusement Sport. Welcome back to the show, Commissioner Sherwin Malonzo. Come, how important is today for the exciting future ng PVL? Okay. I'm excited also no, for tonight. Uh, but this is the start of something big, I hope. And Hopefully, this will make the games more exciting in the coming years. So, itong draft na to will level everybody, the, the playing field, yes. and I'm so excited. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are all, you know, very excited. And today starts the whole draft ceremonies. And of course, we are also we also welcome the team managers or team representatives of the four squads who will be drawing their respective picks today. We have. We have Eliza, sorry, we have Maria Luz Soriano from Zeus Coffee Thunderbells, Miss Mandy Romero, team owner of Capital One Solar Spikers. We have Ron Tristan Notado, team manager from Galleries Tower High Risers, and coach Justine Dorog from the Farm Fresh Foxies. Now, we, before we proceed, let's go over the rules and mechanics of the first ever PVL Rookie Draft Lottery. The four participating teams vying for the top four picks are based on their rankings in the previous conference. The Zeus Coffee Thunderbells will have a 40% chance to get the first pick, 30% for the Capital One Solar Spikers, 20% for the Galleries Tower High Risers, and 10% for the Farm Fresh Foxies. The lottery bowl will contain 10 balls with each team having a corresponding allotment based on their chances to receive the first overall pick. Again, we'd like to clarify that the lottery balls prepared by the team managers were under the supervision of the PVL and have been inspected and verified by the Games and Amusement Sport earlier today. And with that, we are ready to proceed with a draw of our first overall pick. We'd like to welcome the reigning MVP of the PVL, Brooke Van Sickle. Hey Brooke, how are you? How are you feeling today? You know, I'm very, very excited, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just super honored and very grateful to be able to partake in this historical event. It's very cool to see, and I'm super stoked to see the future of the PBL and just what's gonna happen. All right, well, thank you, Brooke. And right now, may we now request the team representatives to hand over their respective number of entries for the first draw. First up, we have uh, Zeus Coffee Thunderbells with Four entries for the pick. We are assisted by Miss Eliza Roman from uh, the Games and Amusement Board. There you go, we have four balls to represent four entries for Zeus Coffee. The Capital One Solar Spikers will now hand over their respective entries. Capital One will have three entries. Again, very fight for our representative by the Games and Amusement Board. Of course, we got Gallery Tower High Risers with two entries. Last but not the least, of course, we have the Farm Fresh Foxies represented by assistant coach, Coach Justin Dorog. They have one entry. Ito na ang uh, inaabangan ng lahat. Brooke, you may now uh, show your hands, uh, make sure it's clean. Uh, tamper free and uh, keeping the integrity of this lottery. Go ahead, you may now mix up the choices. Woo! <laughs> 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 
All right, you may open uh, the ball and show what's inside to our GAB representative and our PVL commissioner. All right, Brooke, here we go. Who will get the first overall draft pick? All right, so the first overall pick is going to go to Team Zeus Coffee Thunderbells. All right, um, congratulations, Zeus Coffee Thunderbells. Miss uh, Maria Luzoriano, who is here. Miss Soriano, how are you feeling getting that first pick for the first ever draft? I'm, I'm very honored to be on first pick and very, very excited. Thank you. Thank you so much to our representative from Zeus Coffee. Again, congratulations for getting the first pick in the first ever PVL Giraffe Lottery. One pick down, three more to go. After the break, we'll proceed with the draw of the second overall pick. You're watching the first ever PVL Rookie Draft Lottery presented by Starting Lineup. Welcome back. You are still watching the first ever live PVL Rookie Draft Lottery presented by Starting Lineup. And we'd like to acknowledge the presence of PVL Commissioner Sherwin Malonzo along with the Games and Amusement Board representative Eliza Roman making sure this event is uh, transparent and with integrity. And just to give a quick recap of what just happened before the break, the first overall pick went to the Zeus Coffee Thunderbells. <laughs> Zeus Coffee will get the first pick of uh, the PVL draft. We have a lot of talent yes. in the current roster of applicants, so it's going to be very exciting. Once again, we'd like to remind everyone that this event is witnessed by the Games and Amusement Sports. Now, let's move on to our second overall pick for today's draft lottery. And we'd like to welcome the league's reigning first best outside hitter and former MVP, CC Rondina. <laughs> CC, this is a huge step in the PVL. How important is it also for you to be part of this historical day? Um, syempre po, nauna na kaba pala to. <laughs> Pero ayun po, uh, excited po ako sa magiging outcome nito and sana po, swertehin po ako sa mabubunat ko po ngayon. <laughs> Good luck po. Thank you so much, CC. Again, we would like to request the remaining team representatives to hand over their respective number of entries for the second draw. Now, we have three entries from the Capital One Solar Spikers to be verified and acknowledged by our GAB representative, Ms. Eliza Roman. That's three entries for Capital One. For Galleries Tower High Risers, we got two entries. And again, for the Farm Fresh Foxies, they will be giving one entry for this round. Now that all entries are in, CC, again, may you raise up your hands to ensure the transparency of the pick. Now you can mix up the options and pick a ball. You may now show the pick to our Gabrim representative and PVL commissioner. The pick is now verified by our PVL commissioner and GAB representative. Go ahead, CC. You may now reveal the second overall pick for the 2024 PVL draft. And for the second overall pick goes to Capital One Solar Spikers. Congratulations, Capital One Solar Spikers. So we have the owner, Ms. Mandy Romero. How big is this uh, second pick for the building of a really strong team in Capital One? Most definitely, it's something we're awaiting for as we build our new team. We're feeling energized, feeling the heat, and we hope that our new players can bring that too. And thankful relief to God for this uh, blessing and opportunity. 
And let's give it up for Capital One Solar Spikers for getting the second overall pick for our PVL Rookie Draft. After the break, we move forward with the draws of the third and fourth overall picks. Stay tuned, you're watching the first ever 2024 Rookie Draft Lottery presented by Starting Lineup. Welcome back to the 2024 PBL Rookie Draft Lottery presented by Starting Lineup. Before the break, the second overall pick selection went to the Capital One Solar Spikers. And a while ago, we saw the first pick in the Zeus Coffee Thunderbells. Uh, this will really help the current rosters of these respective teams to be able to compete at a high level in the upcoming PBL. We're already halfway through the draft lottery. And a quick reminder to everyone that today's draw is witnessed by the Games and Amusements Board. And now, to help us help out with the remaining two picks, let's welcome the 2023 Invitational Conference MVP, Cess Molina. Cess, two picks soon. And how are we feeling na meron na tayo ngayong rookie draft this year? Um, syempre, I know that the teams are very thankful dito sa drafting and alam ko na excited na rin sila and I know that the PVL fans are waiting for this moment. Thank you so much, Cess. Again, we request the team representatives to hand over their respective number of entries for the last draw. The remaining team will automatically receive the fourth overall pick. We'll have two entries from the Galleries Tower High Risers. Again, verified by our representative from Gab. And we have one entry from the Farm Fresh Foxies. We are now ready for the final draw of the PVL Rookie Draft Lottery. Now, Cess, again, may you please show your hands for transparency. Now, you may mix up the final options in that bowl to select the third and the fourth overall pick in our first ever PVL Rookie Draft Lottery. <laughs> the pick is now verified by our PVL Commissioner and GAB representative. Go ahead, Cess. Please reveal the third overall pick. The third overall pick goes to Galleries Tower High Risers. And the fourth overall pick goes to Farm Fresh Foxies. Congratulations again. The third overall pick will be the Galleries Tower High Risers. That means the Farm Fresh Foxies will be fourth to pick in our first ever PVL Rookie Draft. Now let's all head on over to our representative from the Gallery Tower High Risers. The Gallery Tower High Risers are actually becoming a very competitive team. You've shown a lot of improvements in the last few conferences. So how will this help boost your bid in the upcoming reinforced conference? Uh, well, uh, hello. Thank you so much, Assess, for picking us. But uh, I think this player, this new player, will bring new energy to the team. Uh, so we're very excited. All right, and congratulations also to the Farm Fresh Foxies coach, Justine. Ano bang uh, hinahanap natin uh, sa mga paparating na rookie uh, batch this PVL Invitational Conference? Um, for sure, we have names in mind and mm -hmm. um, we're very excited kasi um, for sure, helpful sila sa team namin. So. Coach Justine, currently, Farm Fresh is actually in Japan training. Yeah. So I'm sure you have uh, talks with the coaching staff as to the preferred picks. Are you really looking for more energy as well, kagaya ng Gallery Star Risers? Are you looking for you? Uh, mostly, kasi um, yung farm is mga bata. Pero sabi, hindi na kailangan mag-matured na talaga. So, um, yeah, we're very excited sa rookie draft. So, um, let's see na lang kung sino talaga yung para sa amin. Now, last question for the Galleries Tower High Riser. Sir Ron, ano po ang nilulok forward to the following days leading up to the actual drafting ceremony? Well, uh, 
Yes, our coaches naman. Uh, it depends on them kasi. So, they are gonna decide who's going to be our pick. But definitely, meron na kaming mga inaay. All right, thank you so much. And there you have it. We got the four teams with the first, second, third, and fourth picks. We got the Zeus Coffee uh, Thunderbells, Capital One uh, Solar Spikers. We got the Gallery Tower High Risers. We got the Farm Fresh Foxies. And uh, before we wrap things up, that has been the quick recap. So very much looking forward to the Combine tomorrow, Tuesday, and on Wednesday. And uh, just a reminder to everybody, um, uh, even though as uh, these events are not open to the public, you can catch it on uh, One Sports and on Filipinas Live on your screens right now. We got the fifth to the first uh, pick. Um, the remaining picks of the first round, the teams that finished the top eight seeds of the previous conference will pick fifth to the 12th in descending order based on their standings. And from the second round onwards, the order will follow the reverse standing of the previous conference. Um, uh, number five, you got Next Led Chameleons. You got number six, the Akari Chargers. Number seven, you got the Signal HD Spikers. Number eight, you got the PLDT High Speed Hitters. Number nine, we have the Cherry Tigo Crossovers. Number 10, you have the Petrogas Angels. 11 will be Choco Mucho. And last but not the least, we will have the Cream Line Cool Smashers. And this is going to be very exciting, Z, because this draft is really meant for the league to, you know, level the playing field and to make everything competitive because at the end of the day, the fans always want to watch exciting games. Definitely. And since 2021, you know, the PVL has uh, uh, partnered up with the Games and Amusements Board. And since then, we have already, you know, taken a few steps towards really building up and developing the landscape of professional volleyball in the Philippines. So it's very, very exciting. And I'm so much looking forward to the combine tomorrow and on Wednesday. Aside from the actual draft, there are also events that are coming to fans. But again, it's going to be a closed door event. Uh, once again, congratulations to all the teams who participated in the first ever PVL Rookie Draft Lottery. At this point, we also want to bring back Commissioner Sherwin Malonzo to let the fans know what to expect in the coming weeks. Come Sherwin, uh, again, this has been a successful first Rookie Draft Lottery for the PVL. Ano yung mga important dates na kailangan abangan ng mga fans? And ano pa yung pwede nilang i-expect or changes in the PVL as well? Okay. So tomorrow, uh, June 25, we're having the Combine. Uh, day one of the Combine. And then on day two, on Wednesday, we're gonna have scrimmages no, among, among the draftees. And then on June 8, uh, July 8 rather, we're having the first uh, ever PVL draft ceremony, okay? And hopefully, no, uh, the the fans you, you watch in the one sports one and sports Filipinas and Live. Filipinas Live, yeah. So we're really sorry that it is a closed door, but soon uh, we're hoping that it's gonna be more open to the public. But right now, it's gonna be an intimate uh, event uh, among the teams and the draftees. Coach Sherwin, um, today is the lottery day, tomorrow the combine, and a few weeks from now the actual event. What does this mean for the Premier Volleyball League? Okay, you know, this has been the brainchild of Sir Ricky Palu uh, since 2021. And, katagal yung planning. Now it's happening. No? Uh, I'm, I'm really excited. Nung pisa palang, uh, I can't tano eh. the, the emotion, it's very electrifying. And then we're looking forward to a more exciting PVL tournament in the coming years, uh, especially with this yes. draft now. And yun, sana, sana everybody enjoys, the, especially the fans. Sana mag enjoy kayo more with uh, more competitive teams coming in the next years. Come Sherwin, a while ago you already told us that day two will be a scrimmage type of uh, day in day one what will be the format para lang din alam ng mga fans oh, natin yeah. kung ano yung mga measure na skill sets as okay well. so day one uh, basically it's gonna be measuring the players no in terms of their uh, physique okay their sizes their height and then uh, later part of the day 
they'll be tested. Uh, their skills are going to be tested. Uh, if they really know how to spike, of course, dapat volleyball player. So, those are the things that uh, we're going to do on day one. And then, yun nga, uh, day two is going to be a kubaga, trial by fire to sa mga players natin. All right, we would also want to ask the players who are in attendance. Um, uh, Brooke, let's start with you. You know, um, it, it hasn't been six months, six full months since you came here in Manila for the PVL. And now today has been the rookie draft lottery. You know, seeing things put into place, like what what are you looking forward to in the PVL in the upcoming years? Yeah, no, this is very exciting. Um, it's very historical, you know, it's a big leap to take for sure. And yeah, like it's definitely going to level the playing field for sure. And that's just going to make volleyball so much more fun to play. And, you know, and I hope the fans really enjoy it and everyone can just immerse themselves in the sport. And yeah, I'm just excited to see what happens in, you know, the future. From one MVP to another, CC. <laughs> CC, you already have a stack lineup in Choco Mucho. So, ano sa tingin mo yung pwede pang matulong ng mga paparating na rookies into your veteran team? Ah, uh, syempre, uh, nagpa-draft yan para, para may ma matulong din sa papasukan nilang team. And I think naman, uh, ibibigay naman nila yung best para sa papasukan nilang team. And ayun, ah, uh, Happy naman kami kung sino yung papasok sa amin. And another MVP also in attendance says, siguro kung ikaw manonood ng combine tomorrow, ano na yung mga bagay na hahanapin mo at titignan natin? Um, for sure, syempre, um, dahil uh, spiker ako, uh, hinahanap ko rin yung good attacking para sa player. And also yung defense, hinahanap din namin yan. So overall, uh, gusto din namin yung overall player. Talagang kaya niyang laruin lahat. So yun, hinahanap namin. And we're looking forward sa uh, drafting. All right, thank you. And you heard it all from the MVPs, from the PBL MVPs. So don't forget to mark your calendars. The road to the rookie draft starts tomorrow with the Combine. The two-day combine kicks off tomorrow at 2 p.m. and continues on Wednesday at 12 noon. You can catch the coverage of the combine via fan stream on Pilipinas Live. And finally, the rookie draft ceremony happens on July 8, live at 7 p.m. on One Sports. And you can also tune in to the red carpet starting at 6 p.m. on Pilipinas Live. Well, that wraps up today's special PVL episode. I'm Zihir Basho. I'm Neil Flores, and this has been the 2024 PVL Rookie Draft Lottery presented by Starting Lineup. <laughs>